Hey YouTube people. Today I want to just quickly go over a lot of the features that I've done. Uh, changes, ads, mods, whatever you want to call it that I've done to the truck so far. Uh, I'm trying to go over it too fa pretty fast. I don't want to linger on things too long. If Most of these things I've already done videos on. Most of them you can not find on Amazon. And just, I want to try and touch everything that I've done on the truck so far. So we're just going to jump right into it. Right here, as you can see on the uh, glass, the, the windshield, I actually ceramic wrapped that. So it's kind of got like a almost rainbow tint. It's a ceramic clear. Uh, if I could go back and do it again, I might have done like a 80% ceramic. Uh, the shop at the time didn't have it in and I just wanted to hurry up and get it done. Um, but yeah, it definitely blocks out a lot of the heat rays and things that are coming in. But I think if I would have went darker, I think it would have been a better look. It would make the front windows look a little bit darker. I think it would have been an all around better look. Next, uh, I have this thing right here. This pad right here, it gets a little, it's not the cleanest looking thing, but it helps out a lot when you're leaving the gym and sweaty and stuff or, and mainly the reason why I got it is for the dogs. I have big, huge, you know, 160, 150 pound dogs and they have big claws. This right here, you know, I just put it over it. The fit's a little, it's not the best fit in the world, but it gets the job done. It helps protect my center console and keep it looking new. Uh, that Amazon, like I said, I'll try and list everything in the descriptions below uh, so you guys can all uh, purchase it if you so choose. Uh, here, I got the dash cam, did a video on that recently. Uh, get a dash cam it, I don't care what it is you need to protect yourself it's a small investment uh, and, and it'll protect you in the long run I promise you whatever you get even if you use like an old phone use something it's uh, I'm sure insurance will start going that way here before long anyways I can't tell you how many accidents I've seen where people have tried to lie and and, and whatever so there's a dash cam you know you can probably find them as cheap as 50 bucks nowadays so get something to protect yourself with um let's move around here to the back uh, a couple of uh micro uh or a couple of uh type c charging cords uh i can charge my phone with this i can charge my gopro with this lots of things i can charge my kids uh use their nintendo switch uh, i got a couple of these actually and then i have the uh regular usb type as well i uh, put it in this one over here number four because this one doesn't connect to the vehicle. It's just purely power only. And I don't like always connecting my phone to the vehicle to do Android Auto and things like that. Sometimes I just want to get a regular charge. So that's what I use these for. I have a few of them, like I said. Um, also, I may, uh, talked about this little USB right here. Uh, 64 gigabytes, throw all my music on this. Uh, you know, my wife has one, my kids have one. We just kind of add music to it and take away as we please. Throw it in here. And then I also have one at the front as well. Uh, I guess you can fit three in here total. But I'm using two at the moment. All right. Moving on. I'm going to move around here to the side of the vehicle, actually. And then I'll make my way to the back. Oh, there we go. We'll just start with the little screen, the tent screen. These, I've gone through a lot of these, trying to see what works best. I used to have, let me see if I can do this with one hand. I used to have these. You just click them and they stick and then you attach it however you want. Nice, it worked sometimes, but sometimes it just randomly fall off or I just didn't think it was dark enough, but how do you, you just pull them to bring them off. Then I found these. Now these are held by static. And you just peel it off. Perfect, put it back on. And I have two of these, or actually four of them. I put two in my wife's car as well, in the Durango. I mean, these are wonderful. I mean, they completely block out the sunlight. Uh, night and day difference from all the rest of them. And then I have one that I'll put back here from time to time. 
and you know like i said they come off really easy just peel it off put it back on i've done it a hundred times and they still stick the way when i first got them wherever i want to put it really convenient like these a lot it's the small things guys uh let's go here to all right we'll go here to the tablet i get the wiggles on for my baby uh let me pop this out i didn't think this thing would be very handy but it actually really is and it's i like it because it's versatile you can put it in a lot of different places it's really just straps around either from this way or vertical horizontal or vertical and then these are all velcro so you just stick them on the sides of your tablet lock them into place you can even adjust them you know however you want to do it these are really cool uh that just makes life easier for me guys so road trips are no longer too much of a hassle i can keep uh, my one-year-old kind of occupied with her little wiggles or whatever it is that she's watching at the time uh helps out a lot again now moving over to my little trash bag receipts or whatever i just throw it in here real handy that i have it right here real convenient you know kind of out of sight out of mind but uh that's how i kind of keep a lot of the clutter out i'll just throw it in this little bag here keep it strapped here no worries keep it moving all right now let's see let's work our way on over to the back as you see i got the led lights uh installed i'll try and get some nighttime uh footage of that i've already done a video on that but for those of you that have not seen it i'll uh, try and get some more night footage of that just drop the bed down obviously you see the lomax cover uh i like it it's been holding up okay i do get a little water in here from time to time nothing major right now not a big deal but here's my lomax cover real real thin i like it i get people people almost stop me almost daily and ask me what kind of cover it is and where i got it from so i love it i don't think i would use anything else here we got the uh bed rug bed rug is really awesome it's made for the weather i don't have to have a bed uh bed cover on it if i don't want to this thing is made for the elements um doesn't absorb all that water you know it kind of just holds it and kicks it out it's uh made from some kind of life vest material or something you can vacuum it you can sweep it it's really just like a rug but in all actuality it's kind of plastic made out of plastic and fibers things like that so it's not actually a carpet just looks like a carpet um it's hold, held up well so far I don't really have any issues. I got some clothes I'm donating here and had to my partner with the vehicle trouble. So, you know, just got my little setup in here. Um, but the bed rug is awesome. No issues. I have actually lights going on at the bar. I'll try and get some footage of that here tonight. Uh, it's not super bright, but it gets the job done. Uh, you know, you live and you learn and you learn from your mistakes. So I'll uh, talk about that later on here i got my trusty bag here with all my you know cleaning supplies and extra winter gear flashlights blankets extra sweater i just keep extra things in there uh some rope it has so many pockets and things like that and the real cool thing about it since it does have velcro at the bottom it hooks right up to my to the uh the uh bed rug so it's not going anywhere you know if i want to move it obviously i just pull it a little bit harder and unvelcro it but I like that. It's a real cool feature. Uh, so everything I've got, minus the bed rug and the Lomax cover, everything else has been relatively pretty cheap. <clears throat> uh, I don't have any issues. I haven't had any issues with any of this stuff yet, guys. I say yet. Well, hopefully I won't. But so far, so good. Everything is working the way I, uh, I wanted it to and other than that i got one more thing here inside but um which i also did a video on and that's going to be the storage locks the storage pin this has been working great so far i haven't had any issues it's unlocked right now i have a key and i can just lock it sealed up tight sometimes i just keep uh purses valuables whatever in there 
uh, when I kind of can't go anywhere else with it. So it's a real cool temporary kind of solution to a lockbox at the moment. And uh, that's really it, guys, so far. Those are all the, you know, upgrades and things that I've done to the truck. Hey, guys, this is uh, the last part. I kind of needed to wait for it to get dark so I could show the LED light. They're extremely bright over here. And most of you guys have probably already seen those. And then this one, I don't believe anyone has seen these yet. Which is my bed light it's not as bright as I wanted it to be um, and then that's because there's a groove in here and it's all the way at the top so all the light doesn't actually get to come out and spread out like a lot of like you see on a lot of these light strips I should have put like some styrofoam or uh, just something thick to drop it down a little bit and then attach the light strip here to it so it would have been able to you know shine throughout the whole bed i can see in the bed but it's just not that super brightness that i was going for throughout the whole bed uh it does get the job done like i said but these these strips here were actually kind of a home uh kit my my buddy wired it up for me uh this way um i like that it's pretty versatile it can do a bunch of different things change uh different colors flash uh this is the fade system then we can have it flash. Uh, you can have it jump different colors. There's just a lot of different things. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, obviously, I can go back to white. Turn it off. Back on. I can see everything I need to see in this truck. So, I guess it does its job at that. But like I said, if I were to go back and do it again, I would have got something to extend the strips instead of putting it all the way up here in the groove so that way the light doesn't shine or show throughout the whole bed but i can see so that's all that matters anyways guys uh y'all take it easy i'll take you talk to you in the next one